Welcome to World of Marketing Podcast, a Foster Web Marketing production. Here's your host, Tom Foster. Hey everybody, it's Tom Foster in the World of Marketing, and I'm here with my buddy once again. It's Tim Tattoo for now. Tim Bedford, thank you so much, my friend, from from the uh, internationally well-known and recognized Ruby uh, receptionist, which is a fantastic outfit and a partner of ours. And so thanks, Tim, for coming to, uh, to my show again. Yeah, great to be here. I don't want to rock the boat, but could be could be the Tim and Tom show pretty soon. Yeah, that's it, right? Exactly. We'll have to set this yeah. up and regular. And and I am coming to you from Rehoboth Beach, where I am uh, having a little vacation, but I didn't want to wait on this, doing this with Tim. Um, and, you know, we'll keep it short and sweet, but I wanted to kind of deliver and talk to Tim um, from his perspective, uh, because Ruby's responsible for how many lawyers? I mean, like how many people, how many clients in general? Yeah, we've got about 5,000 plus law firm clients. Uh, and then I think we're somewhere approaching 14,000. I know we're over 13 as of late. That's so. true. It's fantastic. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that you guys are responsible for responding to answering the phone from answering the phones to uh, responding to forms, to chat pretty much everything, right? I mean, what, what am I missing yeah. here? We, we boil it down to what we call frontline communications. So yeah, you hit, you hit the nail on the head. Anything over the phones or chat inquiries. Anywhere that you're, you should be driving folks to meet you and your business. And you and I had a podcast uh, a few weeks ago where we talked about um, this and we talked about the specifics of Ruby and why. So I encourage everybody to go back and do listen to it, to go back and listen to it um, and get some more perspective if you don't know already about what Ruby can bring to the table. And once again, you know, and I talk about it to many clients, about if they're struggling with, you know, if they don't have the right person answering the phone, um, then most important thing is working with you guys. I mean, it, it just, cause it, it's, it, it, it's just set up, you know, there's no, there's no delay. You guys know what you're doing or to law firms. You have a great reputation. And what I wanted to do is get your perspective today, Tim. And I got four questions for you. Um, cool. And this is all about attract, convert, retain, and we're actually backing it up because you're all about the the, the, the tension or the conversion piece of it. But I wanted to kind of get your perspective on what is a surefire way to make sure that the phone doesn't ring. Like how do you, how do people blow it all the time? I'm sure you've got horror stories. Oh yeah. Um, so I, I guess it's it's nice to to first talk about how to do that. I mean, we're in the business of first impressions, you know, and if, if the pandemic has taught us anything, uh, it's, I'm sure every one of your listeners can, can relate, you know, people are craving that human interaction. Um, yeah. it's, we've been deprived of it for far too long. Things are starting to get back to normal for sure. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, people buy from people. Uh, I, can, I can't tell you how many people have, have come to us Hey, I just had a terrible experience trying to change my, my flight information uh, with all the, the delays and whatnot. And I'm, I'm put on hold for so long or we've seen customers change providers to us. Uh, and hold times are long because staffing is, 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 you know, an issue. People are getting back to normal. So the, the predictability of business has been so up and down and we've even seen it ourselves. Um, but at the end of the day, you just, you got to give a, a positive the first impression. It's, it's that hook. It's that chance for you to engage with a brand at the end of the, uh, a lot of folks, when they build a business, they don't realize it's, it's also their brand. And they don't, uh, most, you're hundred percent right. Yeah. Yeah. Especially and most lawyers. law firms and, and attorneys. Yeah. I, I think there's a stat from, from Clio's uh, legal trends report. It's that lawyers reputations is their number one issue. 
And if you really do care about your reputation and how you're preceded and, and your image, I mean, you have to be putting forth that, that great frontline communication. And that's where Ruby steps in. You know, we're kind of in the realm of, we get grouped in with call center or answering service, but we really are so much more than that. And our differentiator is our people. You know, we train people in what we call the Ruby tone, uh, which is leading with empathy and tone matching. And that those little things go a long way. No, no one's calling a lawyer in a good mood. They're being sued or they had an injury or they're preparing, you know, their will. Uh, either way, they're, <laughs> most call, most callers are not lawyers in a good mood. So we, we understand that. And with lawyers being the majority of our customer base, uh, you know, there wouldn't be 5,000 lawyers who trust us with their communications if that wasn't the case. So uh, we go above and beyond to make sure that all of our receptionists are trained. We go through that onboarding call to have that kickoff and make sure we sound like an extension of their team rather than just a service you're, you're signing up for. So Yes, uh, I think it's it's easy to you know, I could talk about horror stories for as you know as long as you want, but it's it's good to hammer home what it is that people are craving, uh, and you don't even know what you are sometimes until you've heard the bad that you you know that you have a terrible experience like oh this could have been this could have been so much better, and that's that's where Ruby steps in for sure. Yeah, and and you hit it on the head, and and it, it is about the first impression, and even before somebody, and this is what, you know, even before somebody calls on the phone, they're going to go to the web. I mean, that's what everybody oh, does. Yeah. And, and, and they're going to be looking for uh, information about, and let's just narrow it down to lawyers because that's, you know, that's, that's certainly who we focus on. And, and like you said, your biggest client base and uh, it is true that they don't recognize in many cases that they're building a brand. When they do recognize that they have a brand, then it switches gears. Uh, if they generalize, if they continue to generalize, like personal injury lawyer, you know, Rehoboth Beach or whatever, if they continue totally. to generalize, they're, they're just going to be chasing strangers and, and uh, not the best clients in cases. Um, and I know that I'm sure that you guys dealt with like those kinds of not so great, uh, perfect clients for, for lawyers, but let's talk about some of the most important kinds of content that should be on a law firm, um, website that, that you, you believe should be on a lawyer, a website, you know, be beyond like bio pages, because everybody does a search for the name. And, you know, obviously the home page is generally the, the most important and then bio pages. But what else? What are, what are the things that are important to you, do you think? Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, different factors and, and kind of mediums, I would say, that are, are, are nice to have and, and certainly drive a lot of traffic. Um, one, you got, you got to have that bio page. That is how you are found. And mm -hmm. uh, a lot of things that would help are, are backlinks, actually. So maybe, maybe linking your, in your bio articles to where you're mentioned, uh, just so that you are found through another page. And it kind of builds that page loyalty and, and credibility or score. Um, on top of that, uh, forms are great, not only from a lead capture perspective, uh, but it's another way to engage with, with the people that are uh, visiting your website. Um, and, and this is something that we've just started prioritizing. We've, we've always had review testimonials, um, but now we are actually, uh, you know, we set up like an API to pull from our trust pilot uh, landing page. Uh, so now when reviews are, are being said about us, we're automatically pulling in new ones and it's fresh and it's, it's, a, it's a good way to establish that credibility, build and, and boot bolster that SEO, SEM. Um, but I, I would say, yeah, uh, having those landing pages and, and certainly a blog. You want to be viewed not only uh, as a thought leader, but you want folks to, to see that you are engaged in the legal community, not just a plug and play lawyer. Um, all those sort of factors really wind up paying dividends, help you become more searchable. And if you, you zoom back out, I, I could tell a personal story. My, my brother, he's a little bit younger, uh, just fresh out of college. And, you know, he just got hit he was stepping out of an uber or no someone was stepping out of an uber hit him on his bicycle he had never used the lawyer before um 
and he hopped online. That's, that's where he knew he couldn't find any, you know, referrals and, and you know, searching for a lawyer, that's not just, or I guess searching on Google is not just reserved for making food uh, and reservations at a restaurant anymore. It, people are looking for lawyers, especially personal injury lawyers. Those there's, there's so many out there. So um, that's your chance to, to really engage with those, those fresh new clients. And again, if you, if you bleed into uh, that opportunity, whether you're driving folks to your website or your phone, if, if you're not engaging with that visitor or that caller, uh, he said he called the third one uh, and that's who wound up answering his call. And that's who he went with because the first two didn't answer his call. So it, plenty of business is being lost out there just because you are not being attentive to your frontline communication. So I guess you get thousand dollars and you could get these folks to do that, but that's where Ruby comes in. And that's why we work so well with Foster Web is because you guys are that engine uh, and we are that lead capture piece. We make sure those marketing dollars are being exactly. optimized and, and yeah, really, really going the distance. So you said so many things. How is your brother, by the way? You okay. He's good. He's good. Uh, I, okay, yeah, good. It, it, it was a story, but. <laughs> well, that said, uh, you you nailed it right there because you said that uh, two the first two he called didn't call him back or didn't answer the phone, and um, we find that from our end, in 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 some cases, unfortunately, uh, the the answering the phones and the intake is not squared away, and so all of the effort that uh, that we might do or or companies like us, or even yourself, if you're updating your own website. Um, if you're not answering the phones, or if that's not set up, or your forms are not working, or your chat is not working on the right pages, or many things that can go wrong, um, you have to be a good steward of, your, of, your, uh, of all of it, of the attract, convert, retain all the time. And um, we, we've heard that more often. It's sad to hear that when that all that effort goes into whether it's content that you're adding organic, you know, content, uh, and you're getting a lot of traffic, uh, or you're doing pay-per-click, which most of lawyers do, and they're spending thousands of dollars, but they're not answering the phones or not answering the phones in the right way, which is the other totally. thing is that I'm sure that had to do with your brother's decision was the way that the guy responded, you know, and, and that's another, was it the lawyer that answered the phone? Because, you know, that's another thing. It's like if the guy directly or responds directly, uh, you know, if it's a good case, you guys are trained to get the lawyer involved immediately. And that's the other thing, right? That that's the difference maker with you. And I want to touch on that real quick because this is really important about all the effort and money and, and time and resources and you name it uh, that you put that, that lawyers and law firms put into their website marketing to blow it at the end. And that's why, and we hear it all the time. And that's why I recommend Ruby so much to people that don't have this solved. And when I say don't have this solved, that means that the person either isn't trained correctly to answer the phone or the phone is not manned properly uh, and um, they're, they're not executing the script. They don't have the proper empathy. Um, they're, they're mad at you when you're away, you know, in court. You're, you know, they're not the right fit for the job. I mean, so many things could yeah. go wrong there. And it, it's such a double-edged sword as well because, um, you know, Google, they're always adjusting that algorithm. Um, but they have a new product called Google Screen. So you search personal injury lawyers, Dallas, Texas. They actually have these little what the, like tabs or cards that show up at the top. And there's a bunch of different ratings that go into that. And one of them is actually whether or not you answer the phone. So that's a factor in whether you are listed higher on Google. So you can spend money to get there, but then if you don't answer it, you get kicked down. So <laughs> there is that optimization piece that that is working for or against you. 
Um, and it's, it's kind of ironic, but yeah, we've, we've seen plenty of folks who come to us. They're like, I spent in the money. I, I made a website and they don't have any help around the office. They're a solopreneur. Um, and when we ask them, they're like, well, do, you know, are you near the phones 24 seven? Like, no, well, there you go. You got to have someone who's capable and, and preferably trained as well to, to help you man that. So. And people demand immediate response, you know, like that. Oh, yeah. That's why that metric is in the Google screens. And, and, you know, you said that they're watching, man. And like those reviews are so important. And like people totally. connect the dots and, and we expect immediate response, immediate response. It was, you know, funny. My wife was uh, looking up something earlier today and on her phone. I mean, she does everything, operates everything that way. And she was like, why can't I, you know, make this appointment online? You're like, what do these people live in the dark ages? And it's like, yeah. people expect, <laughs> that's what they expect. That's what she expected, you know? And like, she gets frustrated if she has to call and that's, that's, that's where things are and they're going to be going even more. If you don't, you know, you can't be like, Oh, leave a message and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. They're gone. Totally. And that's, that, that actually brings up a really good point. Um, it's something that I, I failed to mention is, is having a mobile presence as well for your, for your website is massive too. Um, you know, Google, uh, Google yeah. maps and Apple maps, they make it pretty nice. Like when you are searching for a business, you can, you can directly call, but if you're on your actual website and you don't have that optimized for that mobile view and a nice experience, that too is certainly a factor. Um, but another, uh, statistic from, from Clio's trend report as well. I think it's, uh, if, if you don't respond to an inquiry within 24 hours, you failed to meet the needs of 87 plus percent of folks. Um, and there's an even larger wow. amount who expect a response within, uh, within an hour. I think it's something like 25% of people. So, you know, we live in the, the day and age of, of instant gratification. Yep. You know, uh, you see Uber, you want, a, you want a cab, you want it on your terms, you want it right away. Same with food delivery. All these things are being optimized. Uh, and same thing goes with a response to a lawyer. You don't want to reach out and hear a call back in two days. That's just unacceptable in, in this day and age. So, um, yeah, there's, there's tons of factors at play. Um, okay. So once a lawyer has kind of built that um, trust out there and there's a couple other ways besides just that I want to touch on um, that you don't want to rely on, you know, I'm a, obviously a web guy, uh, but you don't want to rely a hundred percent on SEO or SEM uh, for your traffic. You don't want to rely on that to get the phones to ring. I'm not saying that obviously it's not important because it is very important, but, the lawyer business and any business really, but specifically the lawyer business is a referral game and a referral uh, 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 industry. And um, you just said it when your brother was looking for it. He didn't know anybody to get a referral from, but that's what he would have mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I get asked all the time, you know, like, do you have a lawyer here? Do you have a good lawyer here? And these are lawyers that ask me this and, yeah. and that, okay. But why that is important is that you can actually generate your own traffic and not rely mm -hmm. on, um, you know, obviously you're going to generate traffic by adding content, but what I'm talking about is your list. Uh, which is your, you know, your list of clients, your list of past clients, current clients, friends and family, everybody on your list that you send emails to, that you send direct mails to, to generate interest and remind people of your brand. Because that is what, if you've got your website, this is the, 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 the it's equal or the second to, the, to doing that is creating and reminding everybody of your brand by using a CRM uh, and, you know, using a content marketing system where, you, where you're able to add interesting content, like Michael Monteforte, who's uh, an estate planner. I don't know if he's a client of yours. He's got his own crew, but 
you know, he's, um, um, he's very good at writing content and his people are very good at Mm -hmm. writing content and then subsequently sending out emails. And this guy has gotten, you know, you got like four estate plans, uh, you know, worth five grand each from one email, you know, like that he sent out. Right. Yeah. So don't forget about that. And, and, you know, Mm -hmm. because if you're, if you're struggling with getting the phone to ring, then do things about it beyond just wait for Google and pay more money to pay per click. That's, that's the other thing. So I wanted to kind of, you agree with that? Tim? Yeah. Tim, I mean, there. Ruby, Ruby ourselves, oh, we're such a product of our customers. I mean, we are as large as we are from a, you know, customer base that do to work them out. Um, you know, we get, we get a couple of legal customers and they talk. You know, um, and it makes sense. Small businesses, when they have a positive experience, they, they tell their friends. And especially since, you know, we're in the communication sector as well. When, when another lawyer calls a lawyer and they have that experience with Ruby, they actually hear it firsthand. But, you know, our relationships with the, the bar associations across the, the country, um, they certainly have great tools for you as well, um, both marketing and, uh, you know, other technologies. But, um, Ruby has grown heavily on word of mouth, but to your point as well, I think I mentioned this earlier, being viewed as a thought leader and create, having a blog, even if it's not, so, you know, you don't need to be blogging every week, but just carving out those time. you're always surrounded by other newsletters in your, your field and your vertical. You have to stay up on new laws going into place and uh, just even taking an article and summarizing it yourself and, and pushing that out to your brand or to yeah. your newsletter base. Uh, it's huge. I think it's something like 95% more uh, expensive to gain a new customer than it is to retain an, uh, an existing one. Um, so that right there is, is reason enough to start that. And, and you had that, that case in point. You, were, you got four, four new opportunities through it. Um, and that's just by taking some time, carving it out of the day and, and jotting down your thoughts, creating a newsletter, pushing it to your base and, you never would have known about it. Um, because you so said, yeah, really, it, when ahead. we first started the call, you nailed it. When you were like, you said it, like right now, you know, we're t- people want to be around people. And that's a big part of the exactly. business. And like, and this ties right into that, that because people want to work with people they like. And that's the fact of, of and, and, and marketing is, remi- is really the art of reminding people of you without being annoying. Totally. You know, like it's all those touch. So, points. Yeah. Right. I mean, like you and I talk all the time and you know, we, we've got a, a, a long relationship. And so it comes natural to me to say, well, Ruby is the one that you should work with. You know, when this problem gets brought up to me, which is frequent, I'm like, you should try Ruby. Mm-hmm. I've used Ruby. And, um, you know, anyway, I mean like, and that is, what every lawyer or every business wants is to be top of mind um, to, to, for referral. So on that, uh, what do you think? Because we've, we've got some, we've got clients that work together and we work together. And so what do you think is the, is the uh, biggest benefit to working with Foster and Ruby? Let me just throw that in there. Why do you think Ooh, it's a better well, solution for lawyers? Yeah, well, you've positioned Foster Web uh, so well, um, and it, it kind of touches on all all the points that we've made throughout this, this time we're chatting now. Uh, it, it's very you know family oriented people people business. You're really hand holding. You do a proper diagnostic up front. You make sure that it's not just you know spend X get Y. It's, it's really diving into the issue, uh, you know, and analyzing those pain points and coming up with a, a nice strategy to really rev that engine. Um, and that is where, you know, we come into place. And then we've talked about this a couple times, and you, you got to have that, that beast of a Clio integration as well, which is also a, a yep. huge factor um, for you as well. Just having all these, th- this ecosystem in place uh, to properly track uh, all those administrative tasks, get that engine running, 
make sure it's being optimized and captured and ultimately translating into business. It, it saves countless hours for, for an attorney uh, to have that really dialed in. Um, and, and that's something you get with all three organizations. Uh, it, it, we have the case that we have the proof points. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, it, I just talked to Steve Richardson yesterday, who you, mm -hmm. you know well, who is probably one of our renegade uh, solo, what did you say, solopreneur? <laughs> uh, solopreneur. Is, yeah, I like that. And so, um, yeah, that's a good one. He's totally got this uh, hooked up, and he was really, you know, probably the, as he is, you know, kind of the leader of all of this, putting this together. And he's like, hey, I got an idea. Mm -hmm. And so um, he's got it, and uh, so, and he's, several other people have, have, have done it, but he's the first one that comes to mind. But where uh, he's got Ruby answering the phones, and as they get a lead, uh, they put it in DSS. They put it right directly in through a form. And then it yep. goes all into DSS into his marketing campaigns and the CRM. It's appropriately tagged because they know how to set up the form. The form is all set up. It goes into Clio. Everything is tagged automatically. Then people are set up to automate. And, um, and then obviously Ruby's answering the phones and knows what's going on with stuff and knows what's going on with the marketing. So that, that's yeah. an easy turnkey thing solution it, totally and and not all, not to mention i mean that could be uh, someone's full-time job if you didn't have those those tools in place i exactly. mean think about think about how much time that would eat up from an attorney who went to law school to practice law not to run their marketing engine run their their touch points make sure they're near the phones which is a near impossible feat if they're in and out of the courtroom so yeah just having that that full solution and having all those things communicate, it's, it's tough to put a price tag on, that's for sure. And one other thing that, you know, we haven't talked about, but it's something that came to mind for a, for a busy firm where the phone is answering or ringing all the time, you know, like they need more than one person answering the phone. You guys can do that. I mean, like you have, you have more than one person answering the phone. So if somebody's on the line, talking to a potential client, it doesn't go to voicemail, it goes over to another Ruby receptionist. Is that how it works? Yep. Yeah, so, uh, so it's not always a one-to-one -one relationship that we, you know, a law firm signs up, they don't get one receptionist, they get a team. Uh, and they're all trained oh. the same and they all have the same view and, uh, you know, call handling instructions when they answer with your custom greeting. Uh, but yes, we, we have the ability to answer simultaneous calls. Um, and one proof point aside from that is, you know, uh, when a natural disaster happens in the U S uh, people are calling their insurance agents all the time. So mm -hmm. those phones are off the hook. Sometimes we'll answer five plus calls at a time for, for a company. So yeah, just right. having that, you can't lose folks redundancy. if you're not answering it, especially, yeah, the redundancy factor. So, mm -hmm. well, brother, it's great talking to you, man, you know, you Love guys yeah. are just a fantastic partner of ours. And, you know, I couldn't recommend you enough to pretty much, you know, any, anybody that needs a phone answered, anybody that needs that, you know, obviously lawyers, but anybody, any, any kind of business, um, you guys can, can help out and way easier than, um, going through the process of hiring somebody and training somebody, which is really hard. Yeah. So anyway, thank and, you, Tim, for coming I on I love my coming show on here. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> it's always always a blast with Tim and Tom, that's for sure. Yes, and uh, I'll talk to you about the next one because we're going we're gonna to talk about something else cool coming up. Yeah, um, can't wait. And, and I want to talk about, probably in one of the future ones, the Ruby Tone. I like that. And I want to, that's pretty cool, man. Like talk about the vision of Ruby and how you've grown and, you know, just a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. I so think we either need everybody. to get like either a test ball going or, or maybe get someone with the, the firsthand experience to, to drop some knowledge on you. But we have tons of research of, of just analyzing all, all aspects of calls. So um, it's, it's our wheelhouse. That's for sure. Yeah, it would be cool to like do some, I don't know, 
play some recordings or something. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. we'll talk about it. Okay, buddy. Right, Thank yeah. you so much. You hang on just for a second, Tim. Everybody else. Yep. It's Tim and Tom, the Tim and Tom show and uh, the world of marketing. Thank you so much for listening in. Okay. By the way, if you liked it, please hit subscribe down here somewhere. Uh, like and share it and uh, get the word out about the world of marketing and let me know what you want to hear about and uh, who you want me to talk to about marketing because it's a fascinating and exciting topic. All right, everybody. Take care. God bless.